Katie, thank you very much. Drugs like Vicodin are often in the news because they're so addictive. Tonight in the Target 8 report, we're looking at how common those drugs are here in Missouri. Target 8 Chief Investigator Jamie Gray joins us with those details. Well, you're probably aware of this. The DEA classifies the narcotic pain medicine hydrocodone as a controlled substance. But then after that, what does that mean? Well, it means that pharmacies have to take certain precautions when they're giving those meds out. KOMU 8's Amanda Lebro dug through county by county data made available by ProPublica, looking at which counties are prescribing the most and what professionals think about drug monitoring programs. She joins us now from the newsroom. Hydrocodone is a popular pain medicine, the third most prescribed drug in the country. And along with legitimate prescriptions, local pharmacists say they see fake prescriptions in our community every day. Any questions for the pharmacist today? You've probably taken or at least heard of hydrocodone or some of its more popular name brands like Vicodin. It's very highly prescribed. According to data from ProPublica, 32.9 million hydrocodone claims through Medicare Part D were made in 2012. Here in mid-Missouri, doctors in Boone, Cole, Callaway, and Camden counties came in as the top prescribers. Cole and Camden had the highest percentage of residents with the prescription at just over 13 percent. Erica Hopkins Wadlow, pharmacist in charge at DNH Drugstore in Columbia, says along with legitimate prescriptions, she sees a prescription she questions at least once a day. There's different red flags that we try to pay attention to um, when dispensing uh, controlled prescriptions that um, makes me want to like look further into it and make sure it's not somebody doctor shopping. But Missouri is the only state in the country without a prescription drug monitoring program. So unless a patient has Medicaid, there's no way to track prescriptions. They will go to multiple doctors, multiple cities, get prescriptions for the same type of medication, whether it be hydrocodone or oxycodone or any of the um, narcotics, and then they'll take it to pharmacies, different pharmacies, and just say, hey, I want to pay cash for this and there's no there's no way of like it doesn't hit on somebody's insurance so you'll never know that hey they filled it this five minutes ago at Walgreens. A substance abuse program director in Cole County said it could help her patients too. As far as people that buy it uh, out of pocket or insurance we have no way of, of monitoring. She says about 90 percent of her center's residents are there because of opiate use and that often starts with prescription drugs. You see people who have went through some kind of surgery and they've started out basically on the pain meds. By the time they, we see them in our, in our detox program, they've generally they've moved on to heroin. It's, it's cheaper. It's, there's easier access. They've you know, doctor shopped and um, basically went to ho every hospital that they can and they can't get anymore. Hopkins Wadlow says she thinks a monitoring program could stop misuse faster and possibly prevent overdose. If we can save at least one life from it, then it's worth it. She also says she hopes a program would allow her to spend more time with her patients and reduce the amount of time she spends policing narcotic use. Some opponents of a monitoring program are concerned about personal information being stored, but Hopkins Wadlow says doctor's offices actually ask for more personal information than a pharmacy would need to track prescriptions. Thanks, Amanda. If you'd like to check out where your county stands, what percentage of people have a hydrocodone prescription, you can go to this story on KOMU.com.